it's your boy Quanti P. Today we back with another uh, episode of Keeping Shit Real, the podcast. I got my people with me. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I appreciate them for coming through. We're going to start on this side. Uh, my name is Darius. My name Nate. Y'all seen me before. It's Mirrors. Back again, man. You know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How y'all boys been, man? How y'all feeling? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hot, hot as hell today. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Real active fathers in here, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What y'all do for Father's Day? Pick my mom up from the airport for six hours. Damn, what you mean six hours? Man, it's a long story. We ain't gonna talk about it right now. We ain't gonna talk about it right now. When I was going to Japan for the first time, we had to stay in Seattle. And like they gave us beds and shit though, but like I ain't never had like a crazy layover. So you they get they give you beds in Seattle like type shit if you have yeah. to stay at the airport. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. No, because yeah. at the airport we could, I could go to the USO. It's called the USO. It's like a uh, people volunteer come in. I showed you the other day. Like we got like a lounge. You could sleep in there. Most places you have like couches you can sleep on. Free food, free drinks. And I go in there for like. I got like a layover, but okay, yeah. Okay. That's hard. That's hard. It's like a Sky Club. It's like a Sky yeah, Club. Yeah, but like for military. Military. Yeah, yeah. 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 It yeah, yeah. Airports. It's in all airports. But they close at like 8 o'clock p.m. So like if you there, you know what I'm saying? But Seattle stays, stays open 24 hours because of the Japan flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, one time me and him, we was coming back home. We stopped in Denver. I booked it. <laughs> <laughs> accountability. <laughs> accountability. Damn. Yeah. We landed in Denver about probably... Eight, we weren't supposed to leave Denver to the next day about two. Two, two or three, nigga. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like eight in the morning. But nah. Y'all yeah. stayed in there? Nigga, slumped in that motherfucker. Hey, we met some good people though. We met a, we met we met we networked in that motherfucker. Yeah, we, network, yeah, but we networked in that I'm talking about it was so long we had to book another flight. Yeah, we did, we did. For real? Like, bro, we, we woke up the next morning, we still in this airport. It's about eleven Man o'clock now. Man 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 no, it's probably about like slumped. Why ain't y'all leave? Why ain't y'all leave the airport? That don't leave till two PM. It's it's, it's right. eight in the morning. Y'all should have left the airport and came back. Man, it, it, you didn't have to check in your bags no more. You Man, just... it wasn't like it at this time. Okay, okay. It's different then. You feel me? Cause yeah. You feel me? Shit, we sitting right there, hell, but shit, we was like, fuck that. We ended up booking another flight. Mm-hmm. Said fuck the other one. Uh, yeah, man. Where's y'all's next trips? What y'all what y'all got planned? Anyway, you feel me? Y'all, y'all, y'all take No, I stay booked. Man, go on, nigga. Quad book year round, nah, though. It's my, nigga, my, nigga, it's my summer break, bro. Hey, my nigga, they been putting that shit on the last three months. Every time I see my nigga get that shit on, I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, my nigga, they lit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Where you going, Charlie? But the motherfucker, Charlie, just get back from him. Next thing I'm going to try to do is go to Disney World for real. Man, I swear, that's what I try to do next so, year. So, if y'all ever go to Disney, Disney World at least, hit me up. I'll write you up at least. It's not for y'all on this camera, but I'll write y'all up at least. You feel me? And. I say you live in Florida. The Florida resident ticket is the cheapest ticket. I went to Disney last week, and I bought my. T- I got a four day hopper for under three hundred dollars. What? Swear to God, I, I used my military discount first. It's only three days, and it was over three hundred dollars. And then they was like, "Are you a Florida resident?" I'm like, "I have a house in Florida." There's like, "Can you prove it?" And I was like, "Yeah." And so they let me use that, and I'm a Florida resident. Yeah, if you ever go to Disney, I write you up a lease. Oh, God. Well, I know God. kids under three is free. Yeah, kids under yeah. kids under three is free. He's still two. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. Even when he's five, he's two. The tickets out. <laughs> 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 I'm in the stroller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cover that up. Free trip on this motherfucker. Hell yeah. Man, need that. Real talk. Where's your next trip, Quan? I don't know where I'm headed next. I'm, I'm you just be hopping on the plane, bro. I, I ain't going to lie. I just like, I don't know. I really like car rides better than really, because car ride, I feel like you clear your mind more. Like, Hell yeah. you hop in the car and just leave whenever you're ready. Hit the, yeah. I like the interstate highway type feel, like, like Once you get past Nashville, it's all right. Uh, yeah. But Nashville's annoying as hell. Uh, bro, bro, I said that. To, bro, I swear to God, bro. I'm like, what the? Why the fuck is it always a pile up in Nashville? Always in Nashville. Oh, in Nashville, yeah, bro. And them semis be tripping out there. Four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the only time. Twelve. Yeah, you good. Yeah, you the twelve to four in the morning. And yeah, the other yeah. time, it's a pile up. Like, bro, you gonna stop somewhere in Nashville? Yeah, you definitely bro. gonna stop in Nashville. I'm lying to you. If I leave like late, like when we just left for Panama, I only left at twelve at night. Okay. I yeah. Get my iPhone and I hit uh, Board Highways. 
So we get pass and Damn. Mm. Just, like fly through, I mean, drive through Franklin and shit. Frank, I bet they do the back road. As soon as it gets a little bit past it, they'll put you on like a bunch of parkways and shit. You'll still be able to go like 60, 70. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, just back roads and shit. Now, I, I forget you can do that with iPhone, yeah. Man, and then it'll show you all the police and it. Man, yep. Talking, yeah, yeah. Just back he said, ride. Yeah, Mary, what's your next trip, man? Shoot, you know I don't, I don't even care for. Church, I know you don't right? care about it. I know you me, don't. I'm more of like a like a event type person. Like, yeah. Say if I go catch a Dolphins game, you feel me? Okay, boom, okay, yeah, yeah. Going to Miami, I guess that's vacation, but I'm here for the game. I'm here like, for the game, yeah. Boom, say there's a concert in Nashville, you feel me? Or there's a con, you feel me? Like, okay, I'm that makes sense. Of vacation, you see, like it, I don't just get up and book a trip for a week. Just, just cause. Yeah, like, it, you got to be there for a reason. Yeah, for sure. you got to be yeah type. But I definitely need to get on that a little more. You feel me? I got kids now. Got to be able you to. Got just, to. You got to. That's why I used to fuck up with booking trips. Like, people say, let's do it. And we'll just book a trip. And that was where we planned and shit. I still spend all kind of fucking money. Just because, like, we just trying to have some fucking fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, shit, I knew everything I was doing before I left. I spent, like, like the, yeah. so much less money. Yeah. We, way better hotel. Yeah. Way better food. Yep. Yeah. Like, I just thought about it a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me just write down. That's what I'm exactly like. how I am. I'm going to plan shit out for it. Everything's going to be planned. Food, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know they had Jamaican food. I had uh, Indian I seen that. pizza. Nigga, like Indian food on a pizza. Like, hey, that shit is fire. Hey, you just hate Indian food. I don't know about that. Yeah, good. I was like, I hate Indian food. I hate them, bro. These niggas coming on their necks. They food is, it just don't look good. I ain't going to lie to you. I was like, We should get curry. Sauce. You get curry. Like everything from curry, chicken, uh, what's it called? Matala or whatever. Mm. Lamb, uh, fucking goat. Like, you wanna know some crazy that shit? That not good, not to cut you off on that, cause uh first nigga put me on was that was Lil Tay. That nigga took me to like the little end, like one of what else, you know, they be having the little uh, food on the uh and in the thing in the little thing right there at the stores, the yeah. little Indian store. I grabbed some food, I'm like, he he was grabbing some food. That nigga and I was like, man, shit, man, you grab food out of there like that? I'm like, nigga, you tripping. Nigga, I don't eat no shit like that. And they got to the car. And they gave me a piece. Nigga, that bitch was busting. I'm like, oh, nigga, went back in there and grabbed me some. Bro. Oh, God. Like, the Indian food, that's the first time. Yeah, make you question. Yeah, yeah. Make you, yeah, it made me question that shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. What I learned is it's also like, it's like different shit, bro. Like, when you start eating something, then you, you got to eat it a lot. Type shit. Your first time eating Indian food and you ain't gonna eat it again for months. That's it's gonna mess it up. It's gonna mess your stomach yeah. up. Yeah. But like if you ate it even once every two weeks in a couple months, it wouldn't fuck Type with you. Type shit. Like that. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like, poor. It's the milk. Yeah, stop pork, drinking milk. Yeah. Stop drinking milk. Like your fucking stomach. Mm. Sure. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't eating that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't thinking about nah, it. Cause that. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. yeah. Not negotiable. So boy, it raps. Not negotiable. Boy, that shit looks ew. But from, especially from the videos, like the little street Indian food. Okay, see, that's, that, that's what I'm talking about. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, but not like, the street food. But like that fucks it up for me when they say like this is an Indian oven. Like oh, no, I'm cool yeah, on Indian oven. Because dude done fucked it up. Yeah, dude done <laughs> fucked up. Smashing his goddamn feet on the food. Spitting in it. You got, nah, I'm cool. Yeah, Bugs and shit. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It's really? like the dirtier the better or something over there. Like the nastier. But say, you know they got the, the most rats in the world? Like they be sleeping and eating with rats and shit. I got like India. Yeah. Bro, I've been uh, in India three times. Rats. You, that shit is trash. Tr oh! that, that is it is fuck. sick. Like, that's like the worst country. Like when we pulled in, there's like a dead dog floating in the water. It was so bad in India. Like we couldn't drink water in India. Like they had to give us water bottles of water in India. In India. So yeah. Contaminated yeah. like a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, like, I'll show y'all some videos on India. You yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, oh, people live that? here. They oh, live here for real. Yeah. They yeah. they real deal live there and been living there all their life. You feel me? Like, that's fuck. That's crazy. another. That's a place I. You feel me? I, I ain't too fond of going back. Shout out shit. to India, man. We ain't dissing. <laughs> yeah, we ain't dissing. No <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the food. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to India, man. I'm talking about the food. Africa got their places too. You know what I'm saying? Got some beautiful women, man. Yeah. Who y'all think finna win this finals though? It's gonna it's bother. It's gonna win. It's over. It's gonna come back. They don't come back. That's what they say. Ain't nobody ever came back from ain't an old. I don't think we ever see one in our lifetime though. A three zero comeback. Yeah. Then why can't it be them? 
Think about it. I it ain't going to be there. I guess we ever see it. We'll see it. It's not from them. The matchup from somebody who uh, who was real good, and they're gonna be there and they start choking, and then it's gonna come to some situation like Tom Brady did with the Falcons. They're supposed to win that the whole time, type yeah. shit. Then they came back. It'd be a situation like that. I don't think it's gonna be some nigga that's a real true underdog actually come back to Mike Brady type shit. I, just, I mean, that's my opinion. I don't see that shit happening, especially with him. Yeah, they just won by thirty. Who the Mavs? Yeah. Mavs, Mavs just won Mavs. by 30 last yeah. game. I think about to go back to Boston. Yeah. I feel like Boston. Yeah. Had to I do too. So they can get the so win at home. I saw. Yeah. I felt. I felt yeah. there's no way you beat a team three times and the fourth time they beat you by 30. Yeah. yeah. Not only did they beat you, they whoop your ass. Whoop your ass. Yeah. Like, plus, yeah. plus, they probably was resting that fourth game. Yeah, they probably they was resting. resting. Yeah, resting, resting like a that, motherfucker. They just want to send it back to Boston so yeah. we can win in front of our crowd. That's real though. Because they still got two more games at home if they go to seven. You feel me? Mavs only got one more game at home. Mm. Mm. Feel me? Because it's Boston now. They go to Boston tomorrow. Game after that, it'll be in Dallas. Game after that, game seven in Boston. What's so, the game six or five? This'll be what? Five? Oh, yeah, five. Oh, it'll be game five. Oh, you said two more. Yeah, I'm sure. It'll be game five tomorrow. Y'all watched the fight last night? Man. You watched that watch motherfucker? I ain't even know y'all you ain't know watch you watched it. it. Nah, I ain't watched it. I've been seeing Robin Zee. That nigga slumped over everywhere, bro. Been knocked out. Like, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I call, I called it though. I kept I kept calling around. I feel like what Tank said when he said like you're not ready. He do it not ready. He bro bro bro. The, the lights was too big. The stage was too shit. big. It was bro. too it was too bright. You out there flinching and shit. Because you out there that's, like, when I, that's how I knew he was scared. When I seen that nigga flinch, I'm like, oh, yeah, he, he not flinch. Yeah, he yeah, playing yeah, with this. It wasn't even like he flinched like, like this. He, he, he just on some nerve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was ready to fight, but yeah. it was just like a I don't know, like man, that's some that's some oh, like no. you know you ain't man. Tank was laughing with that nigga. He kept grabbing him. You feel me? He kept grabbing him. At first, I thought he was like showboating him, like just grabbing him. You feel me? Just. But then it got to a point where it's like he's grabbing so he won't get his ass. Won't get his ass. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? Because like, he cracked the fuck out of Tank one good time though. Tank's yeah. cheek was red as hell. This is what I learned. Like I watched Tank for for a couple years, and before that, I only watched Fury. I didn't really watch boxing. I was yeah. watching Fury box. Mm. And obviously, you know what I'm saying. He gonna learn a lot from Fury. At the beginning of that match, bro, if you think C Fury Mayweather is crazy, like he let that man come out with all his energy. He was swinging, it's moving real fast. Tank's just t- taking it, taking it, taking it. As soon as the dude started breathing heavy, grab him a couple times, grab him a couple times. Yep. He's about fifth round, sixth round. He was like, yes. Yep. He's like, God damn, I'm like, I'm hitting this nigga. He tagged him too. It's yeah. so nigga a little swimming. Yeah. Something. Like, it's definitely not enough. He tagged him one time, and his eyes opened, and then he seen that short, and then that nigga really seemed like, damn, I done fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> like, this nigga, you somebody just, hit him. He hit him one he time. Tank one good time when he yeah. hit the ropes. Yeah, Tank looked up like, nigga, what the fuck? That's his, his, cheek, his cheek was fucked yeah, up. Two rounds, I'm just start throwing, him. and you can see it in dude's face. Like he said at the end, like, oh, I gave up on my game. I started getting caught up on. I started. He was throwing them so fucking hard, and he was connecting with so much shit that it was like, bro, if you don't block, he's going to knock you out. Knock you out at that the first time he hit him. You could see him. He was stunned. He was like, the next time he hits him, he's gonna knock him on the ground. And for a dude to never been knocked down, for your first time to be knocked down and be knocked out, it's, it's, it it's hurt, crazy yeah. that people would have thought that someone like Tank the, won't even win. Then again, like, then yeah. again, then again, you cannot discredit Martin. No, he's still good. Because you're still a good he's fighter. Hard, you just sure. lost to, you feel, it's Tank. The great, you feel me? Yeah, you feel I'm me? I'm like, tank. Yeah, I'm full of Tank. You can like, lose yeah, the Tank. You can lose the Tank. That's respectable. You feel me? Like, you just can't go out like no hoe against Tank. Yeah, yeah. He lasted eight rounds, though. You feel me? Man, fuck all that, bro. What? Nah, that ain't enough, though. Ryan Garcia. I'm about to say, who's winning? Until he got knocked Tank always fights like that, though. He lets you win a few. Like, like, like it's Floyd. Floyd do the same thing. He'll give him some like, rounds to understand how you fight. So, like, now that we're on the topic, I usually divide it by two because, you know, they got heavyweights and then they got the light, lightweights. I usually ask people, like, when you say who's the best boxer all the time, I ask, like, the lightweights and then the heavyweights. So, if you're going to pick a heavyweight and a lighter weight, like, who's the best? Ali and, Ali and Mayweather, easy. So I say Ali, Ali and Mayweather. Yeah, I mean, if you was to separate it, but the greatest, if you had to give one greatest, I I could say Ali just because. I don't know. I'm just gonna give it to Ali. I think I'm gonna go Floyd and Tyson. Floyd and Tyson. I fuck with Tyson too. I I, mean, I don't like, respect. Like I know Tyson got a lot of losses. No, I don't respect like, how he ended his career. How they do it? 
he was just fighting. So his kid, I mean, you respect it to an extent. He only fought like his last six fights for, so for his daughter to go through school. Yeah, for real. Because he he wasted all his money. Oh, he okay. he ran through all his money. I know that. Yeah. Like, about this, though, yeah, he ran through all his Mike money. Tyson is damn near the height. He probably a couple inches taller than Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. But when we say weight class, like we're talking about a whole other weight class. Yeah. This nigga fighting niggas that got reach enough to tap him back here. And if Man. he swing full swing, he came in and knocking him out. Yeah. Knocking him out. Like, I feel like it's such an underdog. It's like going out there, being a wide receiver, and being like Steve Smith, he 5'9". Compare you to niggas like Julio, Megatron, niggas who fit the idea and you everything else, you the X factor. Like for sure. niggas gotta respect that. Like you go out there with Mike Tyson, he's short, little reach. That don't matter. That motherfucker hit you in your chin. I, I got a question for y'all. Who got the better career as an athlete? Brady or Jordan? Brady. Career, not legacy, like outside of sports. I'm Brady. talking about the better career. Now what you mean by like career? Oh, like, uh, Michael Jordan. What? Brady not lost. I'm about to say, like, what you mean? Jordan got some, like, you talking about, like, oh, Brady. Brady's career. Yeah. But, but Brady had a harder road. I'm about to say, I'm Jordan, going with Brady. I, I respect Jordan's more because he ain't never, at the end of the day, he didn't lose, just like Floyd. Like, every time someone says something about Floyd, the first thing I say is, he fought professionally and never lost. Never lost. It's kind of hard to say he ain't the best. Like, it is. Yeah, because yeah. after a while, he's defending title fights. So mm-hmm. everybody that he's fighting is a contender. Yeah. So if he don't never lose, it's hard to say. If he ain't Joe Go, he got to be top three. That don't make no sense. He yeah. never lost. So when we start talking about Jordan, like, man, fuck. Basketball's easier to make it for sure. Football, you went and done, man. You go 16 and 0. We'll see no time, man. You go 16 and 0 all season. Yep. Go through the playoffs, go to the Super Bowl, lose that game. There ain't no two. You, you, no next week. You, right. can't, you can't just one man dominate in football. Everybody has to be, you feel me? Yeah, play their part. It's seven yeah. on seven on that field. I don't think you can in basketball either. Yeah, though. you can. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, you, you can. can. Look at Luca right ball, now. You could, like, like you said, I don't think you can all the football way. Football is a living, cuz. It definitely affects it a little bit more it's, than football. It's yeah, 11, like ain't it? It's 11, 11, 11, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's 11? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's 11, 11, but still. 7 on 7, it's some... I'm tripping, man. That's, that's, that's a little outside. That's a, okay, I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but still, like, you gotta have eleven people on the same page. Like, nah, yeah, real if, if this one person fucks up, this one, it, the whole play is over with. You feel me? Basketball is checkers. Football yeah. is chess. A lot of moves in football gotta be done, or you gotta take a chance on the wild card. Yeah. Like this nigga don't make his buck. This nigga don't make his buck. This nigga don't make his buck. The quarterback gotta break a second. This nigga gotta break his nigga off on this route. But I, I think basketball play. is too though, because you you thinking on the fly. Literally, like, like you, check, you, you, check can have, you, just, you can have five possessions like that. Yeah. You feel me? Like, no, make, no. making moves on the fly. You feel me? Like, I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, no. I just feel like basketball, when you say freestyle, you could, like, you could run plays in basketball, and they definitely do. Yeah. yeah, but you can let niggas freestyle in basketball before you could ever say, "Man, I just go out there and throw that motherfucker." You can't do that. You can't do that. You feel me? That's real talk. Yeah. Man, shit, y'all just throw it deep. Whatever y'all play blackyard football, they gonna look at you like nigga. What? 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 If you was to tell me, but just go out there and play defense. You run a different play every play. Don't score 100. You play defense before you know. If these niggas just went out there and the nigga that was in front of them, they just played straight up, they're going to score all day. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to score all motherfucking day. But if you told a nigga in basketball, just guard your man, you got a bad chance of winning. Yeah, facts. So, yeah. That is facts. Yeah. So, you think, so you think Brady's was, was what, harder? I feel like Brady's was way harder. Fact that Michael Jordan never lost, kind of, in my opinion, feels like he he had the better career. Like I still would take Brady as a better winner though, as the better leader, in my opinion. Oh yeah, Michael Jordan had that dog, but I swear I feel like he had an individual dog. Brady yeah. had that like you got your head down on the fucking bench, you gonna slap in the back of your head like, bro, what the fuck you doing? I get your head up. But bro. that's we that, to win this shit. Because you, I feel like that's the difference between a quarterback though and a, like a shoot. You know, Jordan like he his position is to score. To score, but, yeah. But Brady's position is to lead the whole lead, exactly, team. So yeah. you feel me? That's, that's why. That's why I, was yeah. like, I feel like Michael Jordan, his the way he had his pressure, it was way different than Brady's pressure. Like you said, one and done. Playoffs is one and done. Michael Jordan can fuck around for three games and then blow your ass out for four. Yeah. Right. Tom Brady slip up this game, it's over. Oh, See you next You're year. Going maybe, home. maybe next maybe. year. Maybe. Like, yeah. yeah. So even like college, like implementing the college playoffs, 
That's way different. Even though NCAA's one and done, but college football. You fucking with that? That twelve seat? That twelve player? Yeah, that, that shit needs to be thirty two. Really nah, does. hell no, nah. football. <laughs> hell no, nah, Charlie. Think, you think, about it, think about it. Think about all the upsets that happen in football throughout the year. If you could put the best, the best quote unquote thirty two teams, but that number one seat ain't gonna win the BCS every year. It's not. Even the top five, I don't think they would. I think with twelve, it ain't gonna be. I feel like twelve, it ain't gonna be the same people winning every year. Facts, no, I love it. Thirty two, thirty every. There's only a top twenty five. You feel me? Like I feel like after for for one for one after twenty five, you don't even fucking matter. Like no, there's a lot of niggas poking in. As far as playoffs, as far as like we talking college playoffs, like think about how many games that is. That's injuries. Think about how many players is is getting injured now. Like yeah, that's that's adding at least what. Four or five more games. But that's what sucks about football and basketball. Like basketball, you can start off 0 and 7, then come back and still win your division because y'all played 25, 30 games. Yeah. Start off 0 and 7 football, see you next year. <laughs> you, yeah. you start off 0 and 3, and try to make the college playoffs, see you next year. Yes. Shit, start off 0 and 1. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Like, so I feel like when you start doing that college football and all that, like the mentality, I don't know. Charles I, Barkley said it the best. Playing basketball, Takes a lot of fucking skill. It really does. Yeah, definitely do. But it takes a lot of mental toughness to play football. To go out there, and go full speed every time, and try to knock a nigga's head off. Another not grown get man. Your head knocked off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like imagine on a sweep, you a hundred fifty pound running back, and the defensive end just broke off the tackle. He three hundred pounds. He been whooping his ass all game. Like you getting the ball to this side at least four or five times. Man. When, when the fuck are you ever going to go for a layup and you know LeBron's going to hit you five times, clothesline you? It ain't going to happen. <laughs> it ain't happen yeah. Like, it ain't. But Ray Lewis is on the other side. He's the best linebacker in the league. You know your fullback can't block him. You know the guard can't block him. You know the nigga's coming if you run his way. Yeah. That's a mental fuck. Like, Jordan's going to stick his tongue out, shoot a three, <laughs> call it's like, that's cool. <laughs> this nigga going to knock me on my ass. Like, that, that hurt me a little bit more. Like, this nigga knocked me down, looked at me, just, like. Fuck around, said, little ass nigga. Hey, y'all stepped over Damn. you, right? Hey, y'all somebody step over you. But, like, Red Lewis gonna hit you. Yeah. Call you a bitch. Like, and you can't do that because he gonna keep hitting you. Like, yeah, you man, gotta keep running that ball. You can score back on Jordan next play, but I gotta get up and run the ball Ray again. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah she's fucked up. Fuck that, like. No, I definitely feel you, but man, I don't know about 32 team playoff. That's a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot. And that might have been an exaggeration, but I just feel like I think 12 is cool. I there's really a lot better teams though. Because you got to think, teams. you got to think though, fam. At one point in time, it was only one and two. You had to be ranked number one and number two, two oh, to make it to at the end of the year. At the you end, yeah, just make sure at the end of the year you made that one and two. If spot you started right? out one and two, you just had to go undefeated, and you was in the in the championship. You feel me? Then they went to the four. You feel me? That made it a little more competitive. Like now you got. Number three or number four team, can you feel me slip up in there? 12, fam, that shit's finna be lit, bro. 12, 12 is finna be. Because you got to think what type of teams can make top 12, bro. Like a lot of teams can make top 12, you feel me? Like you yeah. might fuck around have SMU top 12 one year at Houston. You feel me? The football team, you feel me? You're going to have some teams in the playoffs. Like, you feel me? So, like, I think 12 is enough because shit. After after twenty five, you don't even matter for real. I feel like, like for real, like shit. Like you said too, like they got to do games every week. That that's so that's a lot to risk at the end of the day. But I feel like they should take away some of that extra shit. But like, like I said, I, twelve is good enough for me. You should just be just two teams. Yeah. See, bullshit. but if y'all peeping, you know it's they they low key starting to make it like a three. A, it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be like three conferences. That's it. It's going to be SEC, Big Ten, and Big 12. Yeah. ACC, I heard that. It's going to be Big 12. I seen Florida State and Louisville trying to go SEC next year. Yeah, I don't see Louisville doing that. They I, might, though. You feel me? They like might, It'd be better for them to go and get better recruiting. Or, or it might have been SEC. Florida State and Clemson. Maybe I'm Florida State and Clemson. That, I think Louisville might try to go Big 12. Big 12, but they sound like Big more 12. Big 12 yeah. or Big East. I'm pretty sure they used to be. Big East, they, Big East. East, Big East, yeah. damn, they was Big East. Uh, yeah. ACC, it was the ACC conference, wasn't it? Yeah, they in the ACC now. Oh, uh, uh, now they in there now. now. Okay, okay, okay. This shit, uh, it's going to be interesting. This whole college football year, I think, will be interesting. What's, yes. what's Louisville going to look like? Are y'all ready? My yeah. team ready. My team ready. Yeah. Have you seen what my team uh projected to be ranked start of the season? <laughs> 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 
It's, it's the pressure though that puts on them. Okay. If they start off at two, it's like damn, we got. Yeah, you got to stay there. What about that? That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. We could keep. We could keep. We was ranked at the end of last year. We're gonna come in there pre. I mean, unranked. We'll probably be like thirty or something, forty. I feel like by the middle of the season, we'll be in the top twenty-five for sure. He did a lot of basketball. I'm more excited about basketball and football because that shit. That guy's basketball team. It's gonna be fucking crap. <laughs> I knew he's gonna say that. We are going to kill y'all. Hey, it's gonna be interesting hope, though. It's gonna I hope, be. It's, it's I gonna hope be, y'all beat us, but what I'm gonna say is, bro. It's gonna be interesting though with our whole new team. It's, it's coach. Say, I ain't the only nigga that noticed. As soon as Calipari went to Arkansas, Kenny Payne went with him. So all I'm saying is, niggas got paid a lot of money to to fuck shit up. Like as soon as Calipari left for Arkansas, Kenny Payne went. If that ain't weird, I just don't know what it is. Like, that don't make no sense to me. Nigga wasn't bringing in nothing extra, kept bullshit recruiting. As soon as Kyler Perry left and offered him a job, he left and went with him. They went to love to destroy y'all. Come on! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> we done bro, figured it out. This, this nigga had, when the first year he was there, bro, he had recruits that he literally wasn't even seeing, bro. He had people who wanted to visit Louisville, and this nigga wasn't even letting them come up there. Then you take a storm on the with. Look. I fuck with Master P, like, heavy, before I say this. You take niggas like Master P's son and try to implement him in the lineup. Like, come the fuck on, bro. Yeah. Like, they're taking D3 niggas and trying to give them, we're talking about Louisville, bro, Louisville basketball. Like, yeah. this is legendary. Like, this is Louisville <laughs> <laughs> uh, basketball. Like, yeah. they were taking niggas that, like, literally wouldn't even been, been able to go to WKU. <laughs> And giving them a chance. And I'm looking at Kenny Payne like, bro, you're a Louisville legend. Like, you played here, nigga. Why are you doing this? What you doing to us, baby? Like, <laughs> like, like, I called Shane. Uh, like, like, bro, you ain't been up here in a while. I'm like, bro, I can't. Like, I can't go up there. Like, I go up there, I spend the money on the guy, I fall asleep. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> like, they got plenty of videos of it. I make the game want to sleep. I'm mad. I don't even want to be I went to a game like, with you. No, you remember we went to that game. We thought Lamar was retiring his jersey. That, oh, that, yeah, yeah. No, no, was it that game? I man, think he's supposed to be there. Yeah, he's supposed so, to be there. Man, and you was over. Nah. 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 <laughs> so they won that game, though. They won that yeah, game. Yeah, they won. Yeah. They definitely did. That nigga was over. Nah, he said, right. fuck this game. In the stadium? Ooh, we don't care. Stadium, slow. We, we don't care, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can, my son got the same problem, but I go see him. Anyway. As long as I got somebody with me that I trust. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'll pass out right here. Y'all wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up. Sit me in the back. If, if they say, hey, that nigga gotta go, he sleep, just, just tap on me. I'll wake up. What? Let me, let me just sleep real quick. Let me sleep this off. Like, <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing you taking a nap. I definitely don't see you taking a nap. Man, I'm power like, nap. Good, good Charlie, little nap. Charlie, you okay? I'm just, I'm folded. Oh, <laughs> nah, I be like, nah, it be, nah, I definitely do oh, be like it. Hey. I know if you lean on the wall in the club, it's over. It's it might over. be over. My thing is I can't sit down. Don't yeah, sit down. Yeah. What about the Packers, though? Go, Pack, go. Go, Pack, go. He's a pack. Hey, uh, go pack, go. Go pack, go. Nigga, they love the Packers. Go pack, go. Jeez, hey. I mean, we had a, we had a decent year though. We had, a, we had a decent year. Nice. It's, it's an NFC Championship. Kind of he Jordan Love dropped his nuts like towards the end, but I mean, I think he was getting comfortable out That's there. What he said he was trying to come to Miami. She ain't say that. You wish. You wish. Field team. Who my John? I ain't switched up, man. New York City. He said the Littles. Yeah, yeah. Who? The Littles. Look who that is. New York Giants. New York Littles. No. <laughs> we beat y'all. We beat y'all. Did we? We beat y'all last year. Did we cuss? What? I nah. Was, we ain't beat Miami. Oh, ain't no way y'all beat us. We lost to the Giants for no reason. Oh, yeah. We beat y'all. Uh, yeah, we, we, we lost. We lost. Y'all, y'all in our uh, division, too, ain't it? Y'all, uh, yeah. Uh, easy, easy. Hey, look here. Easy, easy work. Hey, New York Giants shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, y'all crap. I got the best team. You didn't team even say that here. without laughing. Damn. <laughs> you said what? I got the best team ever. Who's your team? Dolphins. Say it, say it loud for the camera. Dolphins, the Miami Dolphins. Who's y'all? Best who's y'all's quarterback? We're talking the New York Giants, the Packers, and the Dolphins. Who the got Packers the best team in here? Who's y'all's quarterback? <laughs> Come on, you don't even like your quarterback. You know what I mean? you don't even your like your quarterback. Your quarterback is everything of the team. He's the captain of the team. You don't even like him. Somebody 
He does not like Tua. Like he hates Tua's guts. You got you got to love your whole team wholeheartedly. You, you, you got to accept him. You got to accept him. You got to accept him. If you could have any other quarterback in the league, who would it be? Yeah. And don't say Jordan Love because he ain't somebody, going. So, all right, are we talking about a star or just like somebody that, that's actually doable? Doable, doable. Like Justin Fields. Light skin dude. Yup. He on the Steelers right now. I'm back up. He was the starter on the you Bears. You want to be the starter in Miami? I'd rather have Justin Fields than Tua. <laughs> Facts. Why, why you say that? Facts. That's wild, ain't it? Facts. Yeah, that's <laughs> Facts. We can open the playbook more. Tua can't even. We can't even run RPO with this nigga. We can't do a QB quarterback. I only, I only know how, how he's still alive. We, like, could, we could have. How's Tyree, he playing next season? We got season? Fields. We got Tyreek come. Fields could keep that motherfucker. Or he could let that bitch go. He could boom throw it. Are you want somebody versatile? Gotta be with all these fucking weapons, bro. We got the fastest, y'all the fastest team the, in the league. And the only the, the slowest person on the team is the quarterback. Yeah, you that's feel me? Up. Like we got too much speed for him, bro. He don't, you feel me? Like I don't know. I just, yeah, I probably just need a regular quarterback. But the thing is, he can't air that big shot. I will say that Two is gonna air that big shot. If you bet on him, he's gonna give you your yards. Yeah, I mean, he's I mean, gonna give you your yards. I mean, yeah, but I just feel like if you got Tyreek Hill, anybody can air that. Just throw that bitch far as hell and make and him run to it. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> so that's on the topic. What about the Chiefs then? Since he loaded up with Marquise Brown. Then they went and got the fastest nigga in the draft. They still got Rasheed Rice, obviously. They go and they, st- and they re-signed McCole Hardman, who's fast as fuck, or the fifth fastest receiver in the league. So they literally went and got three Tyreek Hills. One of them is like six fucking two. The other two about five ten, same size. And still got then, Travis Kelsey, nigga. Then they go back again. You gotta have a good tight end. Bro, with Patrick Mahomes, bro, anything is possible. Like, yeah, Patrick, he's different. I ain't gonna lie. I get Patrick two more rings, and, and he's right there with he's Brady. Right he ain't even gotta get as many rings, bro. But, like, but his con- his contract though, he's supposed to do that. Yeah, he would get like five hundred. See, that and that is the main half, half, half a billion. A lot of billion. niggas kind of forget like when Brady first started winning rings. Brady wasn't a top five quarterback. Like he wasn't. Yeah, the defense was helping him. The offense was definitely still helping him. He wasn't mediocre. Yeah, but he definitely wasn't fucking Peyton Manning or none of them. Like that's why at first he never got offered that contract, and then he really set himself up for success because once he finally got in position to take that contract, he never took it. Mm. And other niggas on the team was able to get more money. They was able to bring in more. And people. that's what makes him a, a good leader. It makes him a great leader, and that's what makes Patrick Mahomes a fucking dog. Patrick Mahomes said, nigga, fuck that. Give me all that money. And I'm still going to go in this shit. He said, fuck what Brady talking about, nigga. I need half a Billy, and I'm going to show you why I'm worth half a Billy. And I feel like that mentality right there already put some with Tom. If he can win two more. What do you got right now? Two or three? Three. 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 You got three? I think it's three. Yeah, three championships already. You won one like his second year, then what? Because Tyreek only got one. Tyreek got one. He only won last year without Reed, ain't it? That was the first one without yeah. him. His second year, he got one. Once I Reed on the cheese at first? Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm joking. I'm, I'm tripping. Was I Reed on the cheese. first one? He got one his, either his first or second year starting. Then he got one last year, and I'm pretty sure he got one two years ago. I'm, not looking up. I'm, I'm, pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he's on ring three. So you say he get five, he's with Brady. What, Brady got seven? He has three. Tom seven, Brady. I think he got Six. Cause he always does this. Don't he puts it on five fingers and knows that. Oh, he got seven. Cause six, Jordan got six, right? Three. Yeah, he got, one more than one he got, he got three yeah. rings in five seasons. Yeah. Three rings in five seasons. That's what Mahomes got. But if you think about it, Brady got three in five year seasons of starting. It was like it was like in five or six seasons of starting. Like he had been in the league, but as far as starting wise, I mean, shit, he took over. it. Won the Super Bowl, then they go back what the next year or the year after that, something like that, and then did like a two three P. So I mean, he he literally got set up to like he didn't come, he definitely didn't get set up to come in and win the Super Bowl. Definitely not that team wasn't for that. But he got set up where like when he came in, he learned behind a decent quarterback. He had a decent coach where if he was halfway decent, he was going to be successful. And Who are we talking about again? I don't think uh, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, okay. I, I still don't think anyone would have said three rings. Yeah. Coming out of college? Yeah. The only thing I ever remember was him facing um He made that he made that half a million back. From, uh, Brock Purdy. He made that money they, back. They faced each other. I think Brock Purdy played for Iowa State. He threw like 
fucking 700 yards in that game, Patrick Mahomes. Mm. It was like fucking 700. I was like, man, who the fuck is this nigga? Like, and that's the only time I ever heard about him. Then he went to the draft, and I remember they kept saying how, like, he could throw it like fucking 90 yards, and his daddy used to be in the MLB, and I've never heard of this nigga. Then he get out there, start no-look passes. And, like, what the fuck? And, like, I still think he bought a different level than Brady ever bought, like, a swag level. To it, like yeah. he bought like a such a fuck you attitude that was kind of like I said, like Jordan, like Jordan got the tongue out, the whole little thing. Patrick Mahomes got the no look past the whole thing. Brady just kind of just he, young, yeah, he got hot. Like I fuck with that though for sure. Like yeah. Brady's a leader, but I swear Patrick got a different dog in him. Like it's it's different. Like he definitely do. So so you'd rather have Pat on your team than, than Brady? Yeah. Yes. I don't think Brady's even. Leader-wise, he's Pat's more best. exciting. But Patrick's more talented. Yeah, that ain't even, yeah. yeah that he's ain't close. Brady ain't even close to being the most talented quarterback. But he got the best mentals. That ain't even... I don't think that's a comparison. Until Patrick wins two more, Brady got the best mentals. Like, this nigga was dunking and dinking fucking five-yard passes, tearing niggas alive. Man. Like, and then after they got tired of that, he throw 40 yards. 50 yards. Bomb. To Chris Hogan. Everybody eats. Man, Danny Amendola, like a nigga mm-hmm. behind your size. Man. man. <laughs> like. It's like Wes Walker and them. Edelman. See, that was his, that used to be his go-to, Wes Walker. That nigga, Wes yeah. Walker was hard. Walker. Yeah, he was hard. Yeah, then he got Edelman after that. Bro, it was hard too, he damn. Like a yeah, cut. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all had to uh, keep three possessions, got down. If, if y'all can only keep three possessions from y'all's daily life, what would it be? Like you could like these the only three possessions you get like we're talking that. about materialistic things like not even uh yeah like, like a car or something you started yeah, like, you started shit. off you started off so I know what you're talking about uh not nah, like shit you know like you, you know three first uh, three I, nah, I just, it's on the list <laughs> <laughs> for sure for sure shit, talking, talking shit. Oh, shit up. Like, yeah, uh, we're gonna start that one yeah start off cause like nah, I, I want to hear y'all I'm, I'm trying to think three possessions like, yeah like. I have can I, to, if you, if I, I, I could take three possessions that I would keep I was, in my everyday life. I'll say immediate family. Man, I possessions, nigga. Uh, <laughs> I, think you're about material I like material <laughs> things. Like, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, you like you can't live. Like, you feel like you can't really do it outside. A, a, a shit. car, my phone, and shit. That's all I give a fuck about. Me, for real, nigga, I can sleep in my car. My car and my phone, you feel me? If I had those two things, you can make you have a car and a phone, you can make a lot of money. Nah, yeah, you did. You can still yeah, that's free game. game. You ain't got a nah, car, yeah. you feel me? That's free game. Say, yeah, so car, you car, phone. That third thing, shit, toothbrush. Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> if, I got, if I gotta pick shit. the third, I got I got yeah, 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 I go outside yeah. in the rain or something if I got a shot, but they got brushes teeth. Hey, my third fucker up in my goddamn PlayStation. My big five. <laughs> Man, I ain't, I ain't, I started my game for the first time I this whole summer. Today. For like an hour and a half. I took a break for a little bit. I never thought I would. I've been playing Xbox since sixth grade. I had uh, Xbox Live. I've always renewed it. First time I did renew it was last month. My shit's fucking auto. Nigga, I was like. I hate when that shit I come out. Like, bro, like, Xbox Live Charge. Like, nigga, I ain't get that, I ain't get that little charge this month. Like, I felt weird. I'm finna turn that off, but so I didn't even, I didn't renew it, and I got on and tried to play the game. I was mad at the motherfucker. I said never again. I thought I needed to break from the game. Like, fuck that. <laughs> that I, never, I never let somebody tell me don't play the game. That's the, hey, the game that kept me out of trouble. It ain't saved me all kind of money. It, it's it's yeah. good for your mental, too. Like, you yes. could, like, you could, like, space out with your homies and shit. Like, you ain't got to think about nothing besides the game. Like, when we get on there, we talk. Like it's, it's it's like I'm sitting right here, pretty much. Then again, no then again, you could play a game with me because like I'm not finna talk to you in a game. You could you could have called me like if we playing like Call of Duty Squid. No, we playing Call of Duty. They, they'd get mad. They'd get serious. Like shut like, the fuck like, up. Yeah. Like we we play if we like playing 2K, we could we could conversate. But, like we playing Call of Duty. Shut the fuck up. Like Type we, we killing shit. Like yeah. you feel me? I'm trying to win. Butter next, <laughs> it's why I don't play with these. <laughs> They they gotta talk. They gotta talk and shit. I'm gonna clap. No hell, no. I'm butter next, like bro. Y'all play. Like I'm, 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 I'm mute a nigga real quick. Like like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to talk to you. Like I'm here to win, (laughs) nigga. Like that's me and the shit. I I ain't finna change it up for nobody. Fuck it. Late though, cause (laughs) you, but you know how I get. 
No, mute this nigga a few times. Shit. Oh, you was mute? Yeah, nigga, you oh, mute, mute you for real. Oh, what? I mute uh, you for real. Like, fast, well, they, like, they quit talking. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> if it ain't about the game, don't talk. <laughs> like, don't, like, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, right. Don't let Nate die, it's over. Nate, man, Nate man, look, Squid, I was in the game with Squid. This nigga talking about a Joy Mail tweet. Nigga, we in the middle of a fucking gun match. What the fuck you talking about, Joy Mail, nigga? Like, I got away from Joy Mail. I'm, yeah, the dude for Twitter, like, I got on the game, so I ain't got to listen to Joey Mail. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. And you talk about, like, no, nigga, like, and he got muted after that. Yeah. No, I'm talking. Uh, <laughs> we ain't talking about that. You got to get your head in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, like, like, we ain't know what to talk, like, you feel me? Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Real shit. That's real shit. You ain't even say your three possessions, Quan. Ah, uh, shit, uh, I don't know, girl. I ain't going to lie. Shit. Three possessions? Yeah, yeah. I really don't know, cuz. I wake up, damn near say my prayers, mm-hmm. type shit. So, shit. Y'all said, y'all ain't say, y'all ain't say family ones or nothing, did y'all? Yeah. Not, not nah, okay. Put some potato, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's like shit, shit yeah. No. Uh, shit, I don't know, cuz. That shit, that is a hard question. It is a hard question. Hard you think question. about it, hell yeah. That's a hard question. Where you are, you are saying, George, cuz? Uh, I said, I said, goddamn car, phone, P five. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, P5. yeah. I said car and phone too, yeah, well, yeah, car and phone, yeah. So, I don't need my phone for real, but I just like learn shit on my phone. But you shit. learn a lot from your phone. Yeah, so y'all, learn, yeah. y'all got kids, right? So like, now that we all got kids, like none of us over thirty. Like from when you was a kid to now having a kid, what's the major thing? Like you always start with like you was a kid. And now you're a parent, but you like, I don't know why my parents used to like think this way or say this. I don't know how the fuck we were so broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, was, like, I be telling people all the time, like, nigga, we was broke. Like, like, <laughs> like McDonald's, if my kid wants McDonald's. Especially when nigga, hold on, hold on. Back in the day, McDoubles was a dollar. McChickens was a dollar. Pies was a dollar. Like, nowadays, now that they just ordered by McDonald's. Yeah. Mama talking about we ain't got McDonald's money. You feed me, <laughs> my sister, my brother. For $10. Nigga, $10 and we gonna eat good. Like, <laughs> you feel me? We ain't happy. We all get a And everybody's happy. Drink, a fry, like, everybody's yo, happy. Go to Taco Bell, get the meal deal, $2. You get a drink, Doritos, a burrito. Man, I don't know how we were so broke. Like, like we ain't have that type of money. It's really a blessing, though. You feel me? It really is a blessing. I will say that, but shh, I don't know. When I learned, so, 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 hold on. So, what's your question again? So, like, what's one of the things, like, when you was younger, you hear or, like, you kind of witness, like, your parents do or somebody else's parents do? Now that you're a parent, you kind of, like, yeah, you ain't really like the way they made it. Like, like you said, like, with food. It always made it seem like going to McDonald's was expensive. Like, like, like going out expense. to eat was some, some crazy thing, and it was kind of like... This shit ain't what y'all make it seem like. like. Yeah, facts. Another thing, like, when I was younger, like, answering the phone, going outside, all this. Nowadays, like, don't get me wrong, those weird niggas back in the day, too. Like, mm. yeah. Nowadays, it's really weird with the internet and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back in the day, I'd look outside, then them knocking on the door, they on bikes and shit. Like, Charlie come outside, I'm looking at my mom's shit like, there's weirdos outside. I'm looking like, damn, mama, <laughs> like back in the day, like I couldn't do a bunch of shit because my mom was afraid somebody was gonna pick my black ass up, and I ain't saying it wouldn't happen. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But like nowadays, like that that makes more sense. Yeah. Man, man, niggas was on a bike to let them, man, all kind of shit. So like that's basically what it is. Like what did you hear when you was younger that you got older and now you're paying like nigga that don't what like we all tripping. Shit, my mom was like that, but like. I feel like just like like parenting in general. I feel like like as far as like just whoopings and like all like you like I feel like you didn't you don't have to you ain't had to like you ain't had to get whoopings like that. You have you ever whooped your son? Like even like a little like I don't yeah I done spanked his hand and shit like that. But like I feel like once he get older like I'm gonna still give him whoopings. Don't get me wrong. But at, I want to be more like that. Like, let's go in here and talk about it. And by the time he walked out of his room, right, he walking right. out the room crying. But that goes, conversation that goes back. I broke it down to him, like, how dumb that, like, so, like, you he can't. didn't realize what it was without just whooping his ass. Yeah, ankles. like, but he felt it. You feel me? You walking out, he walking out in tears now. And I ain't mm-hmm. had to whoop him, though. You feel me, son? I love you, boo boo. I love you. But I feel like our parents was a different. We'll mama, they was boo-boo. differently stressed than us, yeah, though. Yeah, it was different. Like, 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 back then, they was, like, stressed differently. Like I said, they had money back then. Nigga, not having money is the most, like, 
it'll fuck you up. Like you, you pissed off. So like, just, you gotta get that anger out in this shit. See, but I feel like you done did this. Like, now like, you finna get your ass whooped, like and I'm out of money. You feel me? Like, they they and I'm broke now. Now I'm gonna double whoop your ass. And that's what all goes back to. It's like I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but like that's that's all. They also have the outlets we have. Like they didn't, they they they, they really learn. don't. They didn't have they, they have, they have like, social yeah, media. But yeah. it's like they couldn't learn. Like, yeah, because I'm trying to go think like, damn, like my like, damn, why didn't you get in the goddamn Apple in, t- in you know 2002? Why didn't you get in the? NBA? I'm still yeah. teaching my mama shit. Like, like, like shit, who would have told you that? Who would have yeah. even set you down and told you? That make that make sense, and even if they did, you gonna who believe was around it? you that who, told you? Yeah, you should have believed that shit. That that shit actually makes sense, and like yeah. I think that's why. Because like I know you you invest in stock and shit, and when you talk to people, and you start bringing it up, and you see like the look in their eye, like it's kind of like they're not always like, oh, that's fucking stupid. It's more like damn, nigga, you really don't know. Like you yeah. really don't know, and the only way you know is by. Yeah. So like when I bring it up to my mama, she's she's never like, oh that won't work. It's more so like, how do you even know this will work? Like, yeah. it's I find it crazy. Like they genuinely get so interested because like no one in that era was ever taught that shit. Yeah. So I bring up like making money. Like man, I sat with that with my mama. I tell her shit, and like it's to the point where like she like hearing my bullshit because she's like, how the fuck does your brain even work like that? So when it comes to like talking about making money. The other day I called her, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't wanna take the Mercedes back. She was like, why would you do that? I was like, I wanna get a car with less miles, a smart car, and then I wanna take it to Nashville. She said, what you gonna do with it in Nashville? I said, I'm gonna leave that motherfucker down there and I'm gonna post and tell niggas to rent it out for DoorDash. She said, well, what's that gonna do for you? I said, well, shit, I just went to Kia. They told me I can get a brand new Kia that was a 2017. It had 20,000 miles on it. I was gonna pay $225 a month. I was gonna rent this bitch out in Nashville for $200 a motherfucking week. At minimum one hundred fifty dollars a week, right? They're gonna sign a contract. I was gonna provide the insurance. Anything fucked up, anything, it's on them. They take a picture before they get in the whip. They take a picture when they get out. So if this nigga pay me one hundred fifty a week, that's six hundred a month. I'm only paying two hundred for the car. I'm only paying one hundred for the insurance. That's three hundred profit for a car in that job, right? Mm. So I'm talking to my mama because she just went and got two new cars. Yeah. Trying to tell like you got an older car. You only get one hundred fifty thousand miles on it. So it's not dumb that you wouldn't got another car, you can afford it. But like when we start talking assets and liabilities, like what's really an asset and what's really a liability? No one really taught you that. So when you look it up, you just go off whatever the internet tells you. How about you really figure it out though? Like they still say the house is an asset. Hey, if you look at it that way, that's on you. But if it's taking money and it can't give you no money, it's a liability. It don't matter what you think of it. Like everyone wants a house. I want a house too. I'm gonna fuck it's a liability. Uh, but if it can't make you nothing or you don't have nothing to provide for that and pay for it, it's, it's a liability. It's taking money out your pocket. Just like if I got a girl and she ain't got a job, even if I can afford to pay all the bills and afford, afford to feed us both, she's still a liability. liability yeah. She ain't put no money back. Like So I think it's crazy. Like I look at my granny. It's like, fuck, I want to save her. But like, where do you start? You, so you start telling them this stuff, they believe it because – like, it makes sense, but, like, at a certain point in my life, like, I'm, I'm 70 years old. Ain't nobody ever said this. Why do I believe this now? Like, why yeah. do I do this now? So, I think it's just crazy, bro. Like, like talking to our parents, talking to older people, like, about the basics of this. Basic shit. Stop. Saving money. Doing different shit. Because I think everyone thinks, like, when it's time to make money, it's like, oh, create a business. And that's not always the first thing you have to do. Like, you just got to find a way where that <coughs> money that sits there, if you're going to put 5K up, you're going to let it sit there all year. There's no way at the end of that year that's still 5K and you think that's still 5K. Yeah. When I went to the dollar store, I bought the same gummies I've been buying for three years. Three years ago, they were 75 cents. Last year, they went to a dollar. Last week, they went to a dollar 25. So how the fuck would my 5,000 from two from two years ago be the same 5,000 this year? Like, that's real shit. Yeah, it just don't make sense. That's real like, shit. It ain't, you ain't got to be like financially smart. You just kind of got to realize life like, Every day you go to the gas station. Ten years ago, when I was in high school, unleaded was one twenty five. It's shit three dollars. <laughs> like that's shit real shit up, though. That's, that's real shit, shit though. Crazy, but like people really don't know the basics of money, and I think that's what changed my life these last two years. It's like I've always been able to find a way to make money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Work, sell pallets, dogs, all that shit. But it's like at the end of the day, I'm like, yo, fuck. Like 
I look at the numbers. When I go do taxes, it said I made this. I'm playing like the shit that I did throughout the year and what I'm looking at the end of the year don't don't it don't match. Yeah. So no. like, yeah, yeah, no, so like, then on top of that would be worse is what you see what they take for taxes, then when you get your taxes back, hold on, hold on. Y'all take way more than that. I'm the first really? nigga. As soon as I get right. a job, I get that first check, I look at the percent. I gotta shit. know how much I'm making. When I look at right now, I make seventy eight point five percent. I, every time I work, I know how much I'm gonna make before that chick hit. Yeah. Like, because I realize, like, if you don't, that's on you. It's cool if you don't want to know that shit. That's on you. Yeah. You know that you just more prepared. Like, why not know it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, why not know what you make? Why not know what you can make? Why not know what you can save? What you can do with your money? Why not? Like, yeah. so I think I think it's I think it's it's dope to, to be in this generation when so much shit's on the internet. Where like, if you don't believe me or they don't believe what you said just look it up keep looking it up keep going off all the sources you find bro you can find the answer to really almost everything like you get a whole education offline right now if you look up the right shit not to cut you off but you know what i hate i hate when motherfuckers get on facebook and be like do you know where i could find this it'd be something it'd be like the most basic thing like you know where i could find a, a, a two bedroom two bedroom house you feel me and i'm like you never thought to look on fucking Zillow. <laughs> you like you never thought to fucking look up a two bedroom home in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Like people get on Facebook and like look up the the, the smallest of shit. Be like, where can I find this? I'm like, no, nigga. Like, and me, me sometimes I look it up. Like maybe they they couldn't fucking find it. And you look it up and it's like a hundred businesses selling this shit. First couple pages you looked up, you seen it. Like, you feel me? Like, like these are the first couple. And then now now they get the meta on fucking Facebook. Now you fucking. You can, you feel me? All you gotta do is tap the fucking post, and it's gonna tell you on the post. Like, my bad though. I ain't mean to cut y'all. That shit be pissing me hey, off, bro. Should, <laughs> that yeah, shit be yeah, annoying as fuck. This like, shit different, bro. That's facts. Y'all fuck with AI. Y'all fuck with that AI shit. I do fuck with. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all fuck with. Uh, I used to pay. Uh, it's on fucking mm. Discord. Mm. Y'all like it? Was, it? it was one of the apps where you type in like be as descriptive as you can and create images. So I was trying to do it for a clothing brand. Smoking brand called Butters, and I was trying to find some different images and shit. And I used one of them, and like, I really fucked with it for real. But one of the things that I didn't fuck with was like, I would go on Google, and the same day that I typed in on that, it would pop up an image that was like transgender. So, like, I try to write a children's book. I don't know if y'all remember, I passed on Snap a couple times. I wrote a children's book. The reason why I couldn't publish it is once I try to publish it, I literally paid monthly. For the AI app, it was supposed to make me individual images that wasn't used. When I try to publish it, it was images that were used, that mm. were edited. So when I try to make the book online, Amazon was like, nah, like a bunch of this shit is copyrighted. So then I would type in what I typed in on the AI thing and look it up, and it would pop up images that was pretty much similar. So like I would type in curly head, black boy, riding rocking ship in space, right? Try right. to make him be like my son. It would pop it up. I type in that same thing on Google, it'd be the same fucking thing, but the key might be a little bit lighter. The, the sky might be a little less darker. Like, shit like that, so it's sort of copyright. Mm. So, like, I fuck with AI, but, like, it really depends on what you're doing. Like, depends I, on what you're using it for. For business names and shit like that, I'll tell you, hey, you can get on there and create a lot of shit. If you say, hey, I'm creating a business with four black men, their name is Quan. Mir, Nate, and Darius, I want to come up with a name based off those names. Give me 10 oh, options. It's going to be 10 options based off our names. Just like that. It's going to be hard for us to think of that. Right yeah. for it. But that motherfucker going to spin out in 10 seconds. So you got like 10 that, names to choose from. You yeah. feel me? When they, when they shoot that out, I fuck with AI. Like, AI, when I was looking for names for some of the clothing brands, like I say, I'm starting a clothing brand. I want it to be based off this and this and that. And it's going to shoot itself. I fuck with it. I, I do, but I, I don't know. I feel like it could kind of make like everything like an illusion, if that makes sense. Like it does make book. sense. Like it, it started shooting me shit saying this is your image. I'm like shit. This is all mine. This is custom. I can put this on t-shirts. I can put this on this. I was about to sue. You feel me? Everybody can sue. Like, <laughs> if that shit would have got anything, like, it would have sold over one copy. It, it, it could, it could translate a voice. It could make you look like Will Smith. Like this is wild. You feel me? Like it can make everything an illusion. You feel me? It can make a. It could like somebody could make us go to war, and, like make a video of goddamn Putin saying 
we on the some 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 and uh, we think that it's real and the whole time it's AI. You feel me? Just like the same way when Drake and Kendrick was beefing, all them AI ones kept dropping and we yeah. on, we thinking is it is it is everybody's like is it is, it, is, it, is, it, is it AI or is it like I don't know? Like I said, I feel like it it started it's going it's making everything a illusion. You don't you don't know what's real, what's not. I feel like even in like schools for <clears throat> for teachers. Think about reading these papers these days. Yeah, like facts. You can literally say students is students is tight. Man, they got good paragraphs these days. I bet. Good I bet. Paragraphs. I bet. I bet students is the best writers of all time right now. Get no, they a, got uh, what's full the name though? MLA page over uh, Michael Jackson's life. You think so? You think so? But like in the syllabus in college, they tell you we have AI detectors. You cannot use AI. But true, when, they, when, they, when AI first they, dropped though, switch that shit up though. What was gonna get man? You just dissect that. Whole I can't library. say too much. I go to school. Got, you feel got, me? What? Uh, they got an app called uh, What the fuck is it called? Because I used it. I used it before. It's called uh, It's called the Revisor. So you literally, it's literally that. You type what you want in Chat GPT, right? It's gonna spit it out. You put it in the Revisor and it edits it and spits it out a different way that someone else will say it, so you can't. Oh, so like I said, say you knew the yeah, name that's of the book. Yeah, that's say you're crazy. doing something over Super Bowl. I don't know, fucking thirty. You would say, give me a three page MLA and format you th- thing over Super Bowl forty eight. I mean thirty. Pop it up, cool. Copy and paste it. Put it in this app. It's gonna reword it in some basic shit. Spit it out. Send it to my teacher. Uh, I said, damn, I might as well go back to college. Thanks. Like, because at this point, it's it's not really about what you know. It's how. It's how can you show what you know? Yeah. Like it don't even matter if you really know it. It's like can you prove that you can find a way to get the answer? Ain't a lot. The first two years of college is that's all it is. Like papers. But like once you get into like your degree, it actually gets fun. Like me, like I'll be in the clinic next year, and so that shit's actually gonna be fun. Like yeah. I don't wrote on my papers and shit. You feel me? Like I gotta do one more pa- one more semester of papers. But like next year, I'll be like in a fucking clinic and shit. Like actually, like hands on. But like. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be smooth right there. Smooth, you feel me? Like I can't do papers and shit no more. That's <laughs> rap. I ain't gonna lie. That's I couldn't imagine a motherfucker right now telling me I got a, a two page paper or an essay or something. Then dude. again, bro, you really just gotta get in that mode. <clears throat> when I get in that mode, it take I only need one thing to get in that mode. Now when I get in that mode, I'm on that computer like this. So over the next couple of years, like what y'all got planned? Like I know we got jobs, we do I got what y'all doing, but like what are y'all really got? What's next, Quan? Man, cause make a million. Yeah, <laughs> multi-million it. And then I'm trying. Nah, I'm trying to get in the houses for real though. Get I'm trying houses. to get in the houses and shit. I really like, am. You say houses like straight up real estate, like buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I talk, like I told my sister that one. I do want to start <laughs> taking like classes and shit, like like real estate classes. Well, like, I just don't really know what I want. You can do that Western for real. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna do that too. I just don't know my like. You, you know, get that six months passion type, and shit. you'll get paid to go. Man, if you know how to milk the system yeah, for school, you, that's yeah. for anybody. If you know how to milk the system for school, you get paid to go to school. That's hard. You feel me? I'm not going to show you how to do so that. What you, man, like, what you trying to do in the next couple of years? Like? I'm not going to lie to you, shit. Right now, I'm just focused on working and getting this building, this 401k up, saving money. That's really like, right. I, yeah, <laughs> don't you brought that up? That's super smart. Like, don't you think it's wild? Like, people at our age really don't think about that. At all. Like, like, and it's like, they're like, oh, well, bro, I'm only... 30, like, oh, the only 30. 30. Like, come on, like, Man. even if you said I'm 20, only 20, you can retire at 35. If you yeah. played your 401k, nigga, you can retire at 30 if you played your 401k right. Like, yeah, like, and I think that's why, like, in our community, like, I've never had no one send me down and be like, so when you go to work, like, make sure you ask for the match and do the match. So, you can. Man. I've been in that city for six months. I'm not gonna lie, my 401k is at five. Literally take a loan from your own 401k, yeah. 5k. It's all has to be. And then after that, whatever you pay on the interest goes back in your 401k. Yeah. So think about that. So I go to the bank, borrow their money, give them interest, all this on their money, or I can go to my 401k with my money, pay interest on my 401k, and put it back in goes my right 401k. Back, yeah. and, they, and shit, in my job, when you do that, they take it out your check. So it ain't even like you see it. Like, you get a loan, you might have to pay like twenty five dollars a week or yeah, fifty dollars. And it's gonna take week. it out your check. And it just right. came out your check every week. So like if I need but to it go, fix it's my going car. back into your four one K. Yeah. Like, so imagine you've been there ten years. Now you wanna do something on your house. You 
don't go to Chase. You don't go to this place. You take Mirror's money. And then when you pay Mirror's money back, you got more Mirror's money. <laughs> like, yeah. And, like, shit. who else is going to talk about that? I've never had a black person talk to me about some shit like that. Like... That's real shit, though. That's, that, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, 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 so y'all taking... Y'all taking... Here we go, man. Y'all taking $5 million right now. Right now. Or 50% off everything for the rest of your life. You said $5 million or 50% off? 50% off. I can 50% off everything. Oh, my God. Y'all said <laughs> be there. Y'all said <laughs> be there. $5 million five today. Million, five million. Right, right now. Half off everything. A half off everything for the rest of your life. It, five million cash I mean, is look, brought in. I take the five million and start making moves. But I'm not going to get on there and talk about everything. But when you say half off on Every, everything, everything in my life, everything. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. You gotta afford half off yeah, with everything. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like yeah, if somebody walking out, and that's what I'm saying. I can afford it at full price. So when I start thinking about half off, everything that I pay for in no. my life, that means everything I use. Somebody walking money, in, my gas, your phone yeah. bill for the rest of my life, rent, everything. Fuck Those are the smallest house. Look, look. <laughs> somebody walk in here right now. <laughs> two briefcases. Five million. Five million, five million. <laughs> or, 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 and then, then look, he coming in, another dude walking in. He got a little box. A paper coupon. A paper coupon. 50% off everything. It's lam- <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, it's laminated for you, though. Y'all playing Like, what the fuck? It's laminated. Y'all playing the wrong way. The nigga that come in second say, hey, look, bro, everything you paid for, I got half on it. See, that's a different look then. Some five, some fucking roses coupons, and they came in. Some, some fucking paper. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying, fake. Like, it's like a, a a golden platinum car. He gonna say, oh, "Fuck that car!" I want the nigga to say, "Anything, anything you but, want, I got half on it." I'm rolling with that nigga. No, I'm not. For the rest of my life, nigga. For the rest of my life, I'm going with the nigga five million. So that means if I buy a house for hundred, he got fifty. That's exactly that what you said, like, brother. Like, hell no. If I get a, a car today for ten, he got five. five. That's a down payment. Come on, come, come on. No, bro. If I buy the house for 200 k he got 100 That's a down payment. Come on. <laughs> I need him. Off, I man. need that nigga. I need him in my <laughs> Who is he? I need that nigga right so now. Who hey, is he? That's how I was thinking, too, bro. I ain't going to lie. Like, I mean, everything? Everything. Until I die? Bro. That means if I go to the mall. A million dollar house and, is half a million. And the check say I went to the mall and bought my, my son $500 worth of shoes, clothes. He got two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> he got two fifty. Hey, hey, he's already hey, gonna spend the five hundred. Hey, look, look. Oh hey, yeah, bro. I was already gonna spend on that. Hey, bro, you got the two fifty. That's a nigga walk with you all day, all day. <laughs> you feel me? Ain't gonna lie, always about to go to Panama. It costs us fifteen. You got that fifty. Like, <laughs> yeah. They said they need half down. I know you got that half. But if a motherfucker came out with, with three wheelbarrows full of cash, five million. I'm taking the five million. Why? Needs to roll it out. Why? Why I'm gonna tell Needs you though? Roll it out. Why? Why I'm gonna tell you though? Because I could die tomorrow. Fuck that fifty percent off. My mama's good. I mean, yeah. My family's good. You feel me? You, you can, I can't. I don't give a fuck about fifty percent off of my fucking funeral. Like <laughs> that's. He said, "You ain't right to your will." You died. If I died, died in hundred, I do. If I got to use, homie, the I whole, mean, it's automatically it's automatically going to the first of kin if you die. Like everything, in my bank account's going to first of kin. So, so this is what I'm saying. So, like, if they said my daughter's not eighteen, a business loan for twenty k, I had to have at least five k in the bank, right? But she got this nigga. 10. Cool. <laughs> like, now I got to, so if I want a million, dollars, you I want a five million dollar loan. They said you need a million in the bank. He giving me two point five. Y'all come fit, give me the five million y'all, that you just asked for. Y'all fiddling uh, off. No, nah, it's more so half off. You yeah. gotta have it. You, you gotta, gotta have, have it. it. So you if I go get a loan, they said you have to have a minimum of a. He million can't do a down. He can't do a down payment. He can't. He can't do down. He got. He got whatever you got. Okay. Yeah. That's still fine. Still fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's still fine. If y'all hell no. Or something, a condo in Panama is 1500 So if I go pay my car payment, he got half of it. He got yeah. half of it. Cool. Rent? Half yeah. of it. Yeah. Light bill, phone bill. I fuck with buddy. That's my <laughs> Diapers, buddy. anything. Diapers, anything. Diapers, anything. So if I go D right now, my son, he got half. He got half. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> he can roll with me. As long as he pay for himself and half of my shit, that's cool. <laughs> He said, it's oh, seven no. and a half of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, cuz? Five M's right here. Come yeah, on. I'm with Nate. Yeah, bro, that shit out here. We gonna figure <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Like you know what threw me off about it? 
I don't know if it's the same question. I asked Mir this the other day. I'm like, you going to work the same day? He's like, yeah, I'm going to work. If, what, what was if, the question? If a, if a motherfucker gave you, a, if you got a, got a million dollars right now, million dollars right now, I'm going to work. I'm going to work tomorrow. You stupid. I'm going to work tomorrow. Hell no. I'm going to sleep. I'm going. Yeah, to nigga, I'm going to sleep every. Yeah, but like, <coughs> I'm walking all reality. I know based off the life I want to live. Man, I got about three years with that. That million. Mm-mm. Shit. I'm gonna invest the shit. Yeah, yeah, invest it. Yeah. The shit I want to do, if a nigga straight up gave me that, if I didn't go back to work, I'd fuck it. Like I, I said, the, only, work, the, only okay. thing, the only thing that can make me quit my job is if I have a million dollar plan. A you million, got a million dollars a to million, make a million dollar plan. A million dollars you can make a million dollar plan with 10000 If I give you a million dollars, you still don't have a million dollar plan. You have a million dollars. I'm saying you could make a million dollar plan with ten thousand if you're the right nigga. Okay, but I'm just saying it could still. Fail, I hope. I hope. I hope it, it still I, fail. But the thing is, I hope I'm in a room with the right it, niggas. It, it, it could still uh, fail. You just don't it. know. Do you I hope I'm in a room with the right niggas. If I if I'm not in a room with, if I'm in a room right now with niggas, it's gonna blow off this million. I need to go ahead and leave now. <laughs> you feel me? If if I'm in a room with you right now, you can't come with a million dollar plan with a million motherfucking dollars. Bro, you can't. You can't make. You can't, can't make a dollar off of every dollar they say. Dollars. What do you mean, man? Exactly. You, so say, you, you say. You say. Nigga, you say. You, you, gonna you say. You say. You get that million niggas is gonna blow that motherfucker, bro. I hope you not niggas that's gonna do that because we saying, shouldn't be here right now. I'm just saying. You feel me, like? I'm just saying though, like you don't know. You don't know till you get a million. No, I do know because I wouldn't be here right now if I knew you gonna do that. You wouldn't know what you would do though. Like, don't nobody know with a with a M bro. Gave it. Gave to you. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm making a million dollar plan, but at least. I'm gonna make at least a hundred a year off a million dollars. Off a million dollars, it might take ten years to get make it back, but I'm gonna make some shake off that shit. You feel me? I don't know. But it, but then again, but like then again, you're right just, though, because like it depends on who you ask. But like, I just feel like, like I said, bro, if a motherfucker give if if a motherfucker give you fifty thousand right now, you don't have a fifty thousand dollar plan. No, I do not. I'm about, to, I'm about to blow 000. it. So like that's why I said I've been one diamond team. I gotta have. I gotta know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be. Uh, let me invest my million. I'm going to work tomorrow. Let me invest my million. Once I a see million it, versus fifty thousand is a difference. But, but though. listen though, even I'm going to work. Let me invest my million. If I, if my plan end up making me a million a year and shit, yeah, I quit my job. You feel me? I, I definitely quit my job. You feel me? If, if, if I can see that this million is making me, but I'm not gonna quit my job and then go try some shit and then I fuck around. Feel me? That shit don't some work. Shit. Now I'm out here assed out five years later on some dumb shit. I even try some shit. I don't know, man. Like, ask Charles. Charles, question. If so, if a motherfucker gave you a million dollars, you going to work tomorrow? Uh, yes. Like, like I heard you uh, before I walked back here. The only reason why I feel like I'd go to work, like you said, unless I really had some type of plan before that. But you ain't got no plans right now off the top of the dome. I do, but here's my it thing. Don't, it, don't, it don't mean it's going to work. Exactly. So why Just because you got a plan. plan my, it got, I'm, what I'm, saying. I'm a gambler. That's why I stopped gambling. Yeah. And I invest in shit, bro. I don't, my, my main problem with business is I don't know how to not go all in. That's what fucked me up. Oh, okay, okay. So that makes sense then. I, I started like a t-shirt shit, right? So during COVID, they did like the bingo, all that. I took all my money. I bought a cricket. So when you, you go all in. But when the shit started getting hard, I was the only nigga doing it, right? So, like, I felt like, fuck, like, I got to get somebody else. And then I was like, nah, fuck this. So I spent all this money without doing the extras. I didn't have a real plan. I had a plan, but it was more so of an idea. Idea. I down, it didn't have a real business <laughs> model. I just had the idea, and I had customers. That's but you it. learned from it. Facts, facts. But that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, like unless I had a, a business model, like a real business model, like shit written now, what to do with my money. If X so, happens, so you so couldn't, so you couldn't quit your job if if you had a million dollars. Right if now. you gave me a million dollars right now, you still go. <coughs> I do not have a business model right now. I would not quit my job because I make almost hundred k. Why would I quit my job? Like, how, how long does it take? How long does it take to make hundred k? It don't matter. Ten, it's ten years. It don't matter. It's just ten years of work. No, um, that, so take off of work and figure out the is, model. I don't make. I and just, go talk to niggas that got the mindset right, to make I'm your saying, model. What you're saying is wrong. Right? It's not wrong. I don't have 
that million dollar model right now. So me personally, going going to work is wasting your time. I, I, I'm, 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 it is wasting time. No, but I, 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 have, I have to build no, capital. I feel like it's, I, I, feel, I feel like it's wrong. Mirror. If you, I feel like if it's wrong if you got a million and you going you, not even if you keep going to Dollar General, bro. Like ain't nothing wrong with working. Ain't nothing wrong with adding on to your million. Ain't nothing wrong with stacking onto that. You a dummy if you just quit your nigga. If I be a, I make a hundred k a year. I'll be a fucking idiot if I quit my job. My kids got benefits. This million don't give me benefits, my nigga. Yeah, yeah I could pay for all these, whatever I need, nigga. That's still spending all that bread. No, I'm not. I don't know. A million ain't a, like that's not enough. Cause like, even even if I was to come up with a plan and my plan hit a million, I'm not gonna stop. My plan, my, it, it, we gonna keep going. So if I got a million dollars, I don't, nigga, I don't get to relax, so nigga. Jo- if, that, if that's the case, okay. nigga, if that's the case, George Finn, why the, why the fuck he keep playing football? This nigga got thirty million. Tell that nigga come back here and sit his facts, ass down, yeah, then, cause he's stupid. He's going to work. Tell him he's a dummy. <laughs> Like, I just, like be, let's be for real, bro. Yeah, like, you got to keep at You can't just fucking. And then, like, bro, there's niggas out here with a million dollars, bro. There's niggas out here with hundreds of that, oh, thousands of dollars, bro. Right now, it ain't that easy dollars. to just come up with a plan they and get, get that idea. shit rolling. And now yeah. you got a million. Bro, it's not that easy, bro. You can, a motherfucker can't just hand you a million dollars and you think you finna just got them. Oh, I'm finna get them. Man, I'm quitting my like, job. I'm finna get them. I got to get them. No. So, nigga, like, I if that was the case, you could do that right now, nigga. You could go get you a loan, nigga, for. Because, nigga. What they say, Chick Fil A take fifty thousand, twenty thousand. Go get a Chick Fil A then. Like fuck it, if we just could got that, go get a loan for Chick Fil A. <laughs> fuck it. I don't know. But it ain't that it. easy. It's not. You it's can't not, just. It's not, not, that's it's what I'm saying. Money ain't gonna make you just have a million dollar plan. That's just a million dollars to niggas, blow and hope that shit works, right bro. Now, that even do that. There's niggas who could like who think in their head, well, shit. If I had a million dollars, I can hit so much. Man, so I, I promise you, if, I, if I was to get a million right now, I'm not quitting General Motors, bro. I would be a fucking goofball. I'm saying like that that's silly, bro. That's I'm saying in my job for at least 10 years. Man, I'm staying there until I have a million dollar plan. If I don't have a million dollar plan, I'm staying there until I run up these two M's or you feel me? Like no cap. Like what? but like I'm not nah, I'm not even in, if a motherfucker gave me a million, I don't have a plan yet. I don't have yeah. if I quit, I just gotta live off this million until that's I come up with a plan. Then I gotta I hope know. even if I go get a truck company, I gotta hope I get routes and drivers. I like I had a cousin, he tried that, like, that shit wasn't easy, like, you feel me, like, to just find nah, for drugs, real, like, it's not, but, like. But if I could take it and invest in one thing, that's I that's, in mobile homes. Like, yeah, but, 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 but look, you, you don't put your eggs, you don't put all your eggs in one basket, though. I wouldn't. Uh, no, nah, you could. I put that, I put that four in it. I'm not lying to you. you 400,000. So, look, if I go buy a house right now for 200K, right, I got to let a nigga live in there. I got to make the money to pay the house off. And I'm gonna hope I'm making something off of him while I'm paying my mortgage, right? That's me. But if I go buy a that's five thousand dollar trailer that sits right there behind the bowling alley, the average rent of a three bedroom, one bathroom, single wide is nine hundred fucking dollars. Yeah. I paid five K for that bitch. In ten months, this thing gonna give me nine bands. But here's the difference: if I rent this motherfucker out to my cousin. Cause he just got out of college, he don't make that much money. I want him to to live right and shit. I put him in my quarter million dollar house. They over smoking weed, putting holes in the wall, and arguing over Madden. That's cool. Yeah. But Junebug and them moved in the fucking trailer. They doing the same thing. But I paid five k for the trailer. Junebug and them been living there for nine months. Been paying me nine hundred. I got nine k. I'm up for. Christina and them been living in my house. Been paying fifteen hundred. Even in ten months, I only got fifteen bands of a quarter million. But this bitch didn't put a hole in the wall. That's the difference. That's no, why I say no. no. Yeah. Bro, when you look at the, the percent, it, yes and no. Return, my homes, you said four, I put at least four, five. Yeah, yeah, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Like the resale value of a home and a mobile home is like the, the percent difference is killing a home. It ain't even comparison. The, the percent, now, not really. The money you make might not kill. If you buy this house for two hundred k and sell it tomorrow for twenty five, I mean two hundred twenty five. Obviously, you made twenty five thousand. But if you bought this trailer today for 4K and you sold it tomorrow for 6K, you'd be like, why would I do that? But look at the percent. Not even. Look at the real percent. I don't from know. From 4 to 6, from 200,000 to 220,000. Look at the percent. I, look at the risk. I know real I know real deal people that got a $100,000 payday from a house. You're not going to get a 100000 lump sum <laughs> in one day from a, a mobile home. You're so I not, think, but you're also not going to lose that in one day on a mobile home. 
You can lose that. That's enough. If you move a nigga in today and he says fuck you tomorrow and he, and he tears your house up, nigga, you can only sue him for so much. I'm like, not, I'm not, I'm not. Nigga, tear my trailer up. I only put you, so you're much talking. You're talking about the renting aspect. Okay, let's be the land. This is the better part. Wholesaling, right? So I get a house. I get a mobile home, right? Say I buy this bitch for five. I put two in it. I got seven invested. I put. I look around. The cheapest mobile home behind the fucking bowling alley right now. Buying it from him is twenty five thousand dollars. Call him if you think I'm lying. It's twenty five k. So I put the motherfucking k the motherfucking trailer up for seventeen thousand, two thousand dollars down. So when a nigga move in, he gave me two thousand dollars down. I only pay seven k for the whole fucking trailer. The nigga's paying nine hundred a month. He gave me two k down. In a year, I got profit. So, and that's straight. Look, I'm not the landlord though. He's doing rent to own. Anything fuck up, he got he got to fix it himself. It's rent to own. So if he moves out in ten months, I got his two k down, nine k. That's eleven k. Uh, if he moves out, guess what? The next nigga got to move in for two k down and pay the same thing. But a house. If I sell this nigga five k down for a quarter million dollar house, he move out in a year. What did I make? But if he See, tore my house, no, no, up, that, 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 I, I that's like renting. You, I feel like you're looking at it like renting. Like I feel like you're looking at it like. Ten ten dollars to twenty dollars is a better percentage than than like a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand, a hundred to one fifty. No, what I'm saying it is, people are looking at it because I got one house that makes this X amount, but that one house has to go so right. It has a lot of shit not has to even, go right. not even. I know a dude that lived in a house for eighteen months. He sold his house the next year. He he bought his house for one ninety five. He sold his house the next year for three twenty five. Okay. And he paid he paid he paid the six percent to the. I call this man right now. I right. swear to God, I call so this man. So how many people you know that do that? Now how many people you know can buy a two thousand dollar trailer and fuck around and sell it tomorrow for four thousand? You know how I many people need a house to live? That's more realistic. That is more realistic. But in, in your mindset, you're saying, but it's not well, $100,000 payday. I took, I took payday. That's what I'm and saying. I made $300,000. But <laughs> this nigga made, took two bands and made four <laughs> bands. So what if he did that with 100 other properties? How, how how lucky would you get to do that with because 100 other thing, properties? A mobile par, a mobile home is not. personal property is a house. You can own as many as you want. You can't just keep buying houses. You can't. You Why can't you? But you can own mobile homes in Florida. Why can't you? You can own them in California. Why can't you, you keep buying houses? Because that's so much money. That's no, it's too much not. Money. No, it's yes, not. It is. But after, but after you got two, I, I, two could I, I, buy you one. After you got man. two, three so, could so buy you one. Let me get y'all into the room. Oh, we're getting heated so, now. So, so now you got more we're than one house. We're getting heated now because you're talking to Look, a nigga. You talk, yeah. Yeah. So you got more than one house now. So I met you got a, a trailer park. You own. There's 100 fucking things on the lot. They pay 400 for lot rent. How much is that a month? Just off lot rent. Not off rent. Lot rent. That means if they own it, you don't own it or nothing. They have to pay it every month just to be on your land. 400 times 100. Let but look, me, but look, but look. Let me do the math. No, no, no. Just listen. But look. This is just off lot rent. What, what, what's the number? 400, do, do 400 times 100. Okay, why are you doing that? But look, who the fuck is... Nowadays, uh, who the, behind, who the fuck the, is living behind, in the trailer? Behind the bowling alley, there's over 100 like, trailers and they're all occupied. I mean, I mean, that nigga gets living in what trailers. Type, what type of people are living in trailers? I mean, what type of people are living in trailers? Look at the cars out there. I mean, nigga, there's trailers, 2023s right? out there. What like, are you talking about? I, I, these are the projects for 2023s. I, 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 I just feel like you, I just feel like you're looking at it like a, like, oh, it's like, it's like a mindset of like, nah, for real, nigga, a thousand, a thousand dollars to 2,000, you made a better profit, like a percentage wise, then 100k to 150. When niggas do stocks, they look at percents. They don't just that, say. That, well, that's I, what, I feel like that's I what he this. said. Like the percentage. It's the percentage. He's not saying yes, like the percentage. Is. You can't make more money cool. unless you're going to. Yeah, the percentage. But if you have, so when you start talking about someone who's in I don't it care about the to, percent. to make money though, they're not going to have one trailer. But right? what, they're going to have what, multiple. What is, so so if I'm waiting all year to sell this house, but I sold 20 trailers this year, you can talk all you want, but the percent is different. I sold all these houses for 100 percent profit. You sold one house for 100 percent profit. So that all that tells me is all I gotta do is spend the same amount of money on trailers. I'm gonna make money. That's it. All I gotta do is buy the same amount of trailers that you spent on the house. So if you spend 100k on the house, I spend 100k on trailers. I'm oh, making no. money. Depends, on, Depends on who you ask it. Depends on who you ask. Depends on who you ask it. <laughs> look, look up anyone. Yeah. Hey, the mobile home sellers, look up all yeah, of them. Yeah, they'll, yeah. They'll pop up the richest men. The richest men. The they bought real real estate and bought <coughs> mobile homes, bro. It's, it's killed right. it for years. It's the richest right. man in the world. He, yeah. Come he, on. The richest man in the world is Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. Guess what he invests in? Mobile homes. Mobile homes. He says he, he owns investment. one of the only companies that give out loans for mobile homes. Yep. The richest investor invests in it. Yeah. That's real shit though. He, I mean, yeah, I you did tell me that, that but I don't you know what I'm saying, spending a hundred K on trailers than well, one house. Me, if all four of us want to invest in real estate right now, right? We want to give someone a place to live and somewhere to rent. But we want to be affordable. We want to help our community. 
How are you going to do it with a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house? You can't, but you can do it with a five k trailer. But where are you going? I walked the in a double wide trailer and it looked just as good as niggas' houses. Yeah. You can't tell me you ain't done that. So when this double wide trailer says twenty five k, but this house over there by Delafield says one hundred fifty k, I'm gonna own this. If Sheila lives there for fucking two years, I own it. Matter of fact, Sheila owns the bitch. But if she buys that other house, but she fuck around, won't never own it. And she does, it's going to be 20 years later, 25 years later. Now she wants to rent it out and make profit. I'm putting her in a position to rent her trailer out, too, to her daughter, to her cousin, to all this. They're not just owning shit. They're getting affordable housing. They can be property owners. You get that lot of land in this. If you buy it all, that is a package. Like, And I think niggas slip on it because the first thing niggas say is, it's a trailer. Yeah. It's a trailer. My first, it, it, it do be luxury trailers though. Some oh, niggas bro. don't know you can make a trailer look good. My, my, my first crib in Panama was a trailer. Yeah. Like before I bought my before I, I bought my house. That I know a nigga who went from a trailer in Panama to a house in Panama. Ain't no nigga gonna tell me that I can't live in the trailer and come up. I'm not gonna let a nigga. You tell me for that? Cause bro, what? Look, that's my I've been story. studying mobile homes. That's my story. For years, <laughs> that's my story. I've been that's real homes shit though. Real shit. For six years, I'm telling you. My first hundred thousand would never be in a house. It would be in a mobile home. That's because smart. It makes sense. Like it does make oh, more I got sense. One kid. If I can get a three bedroom double wide for twenty five k, then I can go get two acres of land for thirty k. I spent fifty five k. I can't even buy a house for fifty five. Oh no right no! Now. Like I don't know. Like, a hundred. You have a hundred k liquid. Hmm? We talking hundred k liquid. Liquid money. Hundred k liquid money. Okay. You gonna spend more money? You gonna spend more liquid money on a trailer than you do a house? A house? I'm only gonna put fucking me. Me personally, I'm put zero down. I'm not putting nothing down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not putting nothing down personally. Like, I, I would never do that. Stupid. Like, I wouldn't put no money on the house. Either. But, but in a trailer, that, you have to though. Why is that stupid though? See, you put money down on the house. Yeah. I, I tell people all the time, it's stupid to put money down on the car. Like, unless like you putting over like fifteen, twenty <coughs> down, it's stupid because you put five thousand down. You just knocked up hundred dollars. Yeah, you know how long you know how long it takes to make five thousand dollars again. Yeah, for every five k, it's a hundred. It's a hundred dollars. But like, if I say the only way it's smart is if you do like 10, 15. You feel me? That's the only way I'm gonna say it's smart. But like other than that, no, it's stupid. Like you can drive out this dealership right now and crash. Somebody smack your ass. You feel me? And now you're not getting that fifteen thousand back. You not. It's not over with. Close. Not close. You're not getting it back. You feel me? But like with a house. I personally don't have to. Shouts, shouts in the military, but like, there's other loans out there where like everybody thinks it's just like a military thing. Like, there's other loans out there where you don't have to put money down. Like, Definitely. if you have like low income, you can give like a uh, what is it FHA loan? First time homeowners. First time home you homeowners. Loans, you can live outside the city for. But I ain't gonna lie. Home. I think putting some down is always better. Like, I, I like my payments cheap. I don't really give a fuck. On you. Exactly. I like my payment. Payment. If you're going to do 20 years, 25 years on your payment, you're wasting your time. If you're going to do 10 years, you put money I'm just like, with me, it's like I'm definitely taking a goddamn $700 payment over a $1,200 payment all day. But look, but look, look, look. That's why I said. That's what you trying to do with the house, though. Like, depends on what you're trying to do. Like, anything. Like, like, I don't know. If I can make it cheaper, bro, if it's, but if it's like, if I if I could put nothing down in this, it's cool. Your credit good. It's, it's a cool price, cool. But if it's some outrageous shit, I'm not finna just let... And, and like, so, nah, I ain't putting out. Nah, now nah, whip my ass every month. I'm yeah. taking it. No. And so, no. so, so look, look, look. My first house, my first house in Panama, I think my uh, my mortgage was like 1900 right? No, no, no. It, it was it was 2000 No, no, no. I'm, tri- I'm tripping. I'm fucking drunk. It was 1100 It was 1100 right? It was 1150 something. And and then they said they said we're gonna increase your interest rate. You're gonna put nothing down to closing. Closing closing costs was like nine thousand. I was like, I'm not paying that. I go. I still stay in my trailer. They was like, okay, we're gonna bring your mortgage up forty dollars. Cool. Bring the mortgage up forty dollars over thirty years, and I will ever give you ten thousand right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it just makes sense to me. But like with a car, with a car, <laughs> no, it makes yeah, sense. That sounds way better right there. You feel me? Like with, with a car, dollars. With a car, it makes sense. You feel me? Like. I will say that though. I know you done had a couple car payments too. The car is the worst thing you can ever pay. Yeah, that shit is the. Uh, and I only took the last car payment I had because I, I tried to help somebody out of the situation. But like, I would never, ever, 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 ever. I tell my all my siblings, be on that ass. I would never fuck you a car payment. A car for me, and I was man, nigga. I, didn't, I, didn't, I just think it depends on your situation. Know, it depends like, on situation. Like, so, so like, look, situation. My it's the best thing to do though. Two two seventy. I got it, bro. It only had eighty five thousand miles. I only owed thirty five hundred. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll take that because I gave my auntie my crap. Like, I didn't go to the lot and get that. Yeah. Like, if I would have went to the lot, I would have got it when she got it two years ago with a whole different payment. I wouldn't have got that bitch. So, like, that's really my man. Like you said, it really depends on the situation. If you can get in a good situation, yeah. there, you can definitely get a good car payment. But a car, most times, yeah. a car payment is the closest thing to a house. If, 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 if the bank sees you pay, making a car payment for like three, four years, you pay this motherfucker off for six years, your credit's immaculate. You can have a 700, I know niggas with 720, 720 credit scores, they never own a car. It fucks them up because you never had long credit. You just pay shit off instantly. They don't want that. They want you in yes, debt. That's why the best thing is to uh, They want you in debt. Uh, you have to pay that yes, debt. Slow, slow. No, when you re, when you redo it, redo your loan. Refinance. Refinance. The best thing to do, so what a lot of rich people do is they, they refinance it to the point where like they can stretch that bitch up for like 15, 20 years. Yeah. So when they go to the bank, it says, I've been making a car payment for the last 10 years. They're going to give you whatever car you want. You pay on the car. And, and it's all 10 years. It's all time. But like, if you pay it off in three years, they're like, I mean, yeah, you did that in three years, nigga, but you might have been making good money for three years. Yeah. If you can pay on it consistently, never like 15 years, they give you whatever car you want. Exactly. And that's, that's what I learned. Like, that's why I didn't pay my Mercedes off. As soon as it gets close, renew it for another year. I don't yeah, give a fuck point. if it's $10 a month. Renew it because I want these niggas to know that I can pay on that bitch. Every that's month. what they want. So when this bitch wrecks or I need a new one, they don't question and That's the fucked up thing about America. Because I took over someone else's payment. I got all their payment history because I yeah. co signed it. So I got five years of paying on the car that I've been paying on for two years. I just renewed it. So the payments went down from 270 150 three <laughs> yeah. years out on it. So when it's done, I had the car for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to so spark that, like, like, spark that bitch. Tell us that, doctors. They, they don't know. Like, who, who gonna know to tell you that shit? Like, no one knows to tell you that. Like, another thing that I figured out, bills, lines of credit. Like, I boosted my credit, bro, in the last two years. It went from 535 to 695, I think that's where it's at. That's what's up. Bro, lines of credit, like, one of the first things I did was I recorded everything. When I say everything, everything. Netflix, cell phone bill, BGMB. Atmos, I reported it all. I was living in the last house for five years. I reported my admins. They got to look it up. I had five years of paying <coughs> on time. That took my credit score up 40 points. Oh, when, you're, myself when, you're, when you're reporting. Bro, I can take it, my Xbox bill and report it. Nigga, you can report any bill you want. You, see, this was crazy. A lot, a lot of people know this. You can call the credit bureaus, and then there's another company called Nexus, this. Nexus, right? You can call them. You can tell them what you want to be on your credit report, what you don't. Nigga, if you got eviction, you can call them and tell them to stop reporting your eviction. Next time you apply somewhere, it won't be on your credit report. Niggas know don't know that. It's free live, game. But it's, 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 your, it's, your, it's your shit. It's, free game. it's your information. Free game. It's your name on it. Come on. You legally can tell it's them. It's free game. You can legally tell them that they can uh, put the information out or not because, like, it's yours. So, like, Damn. with the bills, you pay all the bills, right? Mm. So, like, how does it make sense that they report that you make a $200 car payment? They don't report that you pay $1,000 for rent? Yeah. So now I report my rent. Now my rent's reported when I try to go get a house, get something else. They're like, this nigga pay rent? This nigga pay utilities on time? Yeah, you want to live here? Fuck yeah, move in. But other niggas that do it got good credit, but they're like, where did you live? How am I supposed to show you where I lived unless somebody writes a note? Now it's on my credit. I got to write a note. I didn't nigga. know you could do that. We're going to talk about that more, though. I'm telling you. So, cause then I boost the fuck out your shit. Nigga, what? I went from having cause six lines. You've been living to twenty for like a year, man. Bro, Tell them report that twenty lines. You want to report? Credit, you want to report this bullshit? Report this twenty lines man. of credit. Now you you feel me? Six to twenty. Went from having four credit cards, a car payment, and a loan, to having three reverse CDs, two lines of credit. I reported my rent, my BGMU. Atmos, my cell phone, my Netflix, my Hulu. My and a little shit like that. A little shit like that. Anything you pay a bill on, think about it. When you, your credit report is what you pay a bill. Someone gave me YouTube premium for 12 months. I pay $15 a month. Until the contract's up, right? So what's the difference between paying anything else? It's not. Yeah. Like, someone gave you Hulu. You got to use it for 30 days. You own $10 at the end of the month. What the fuck is the difference between the car? They gave you the car for 30 days. Now you own $275. Damn. There's no difference. So once I realized that, there's people out there who got an 850 credit score who ain't used over two hundred, three hundred dollars of credit. They got Damn. 10, 15 things on there. I did not know this shit. Credit, bro, and it's from paying Netflix, paying Hulu, paying this bill, paying this bill. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me let me rephrase everything. Let me let me figure something out. 
So I took all my bills and went and got two more cards. I paid three bills a month. All my bills were on three cards. That's the only three bills I paid. They all lined up with my checks. Like, what the fuck? Everything's on auto pay. I got 20 things on fucking auto pay between three cards, and I paid those three bills. I don't worry about nothing else. Man. On three cards. That's it. Man. All my bills fit on three cards, so I worry about paying the same three cards all month. 20, 20 things on my lines of credit. And I did most of that in the last six months. And all it took was you might be on something. saying, how do I get more lines of credit? I sat on YouTube. I paid for YouTube Premium so I could ride around at work and listen to it with my headphones and shit when it's locked. It took me like two weeks to figure that shit. What type of cards you got though? Like like cards? Like you got like cash rewards? So like okay, first oh, I started with a bunch of uh, what's the name cards? Uh, I always do cash rewards. What's it called? The ones we got put money on. Or Sky Miles. Secure cards. You, you secure cards. Yeah, 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 yeah for I sure. I do put secure cards, and then what I realized was like okay, I can get these miles cards, I can get these rewards cards, but I was like, look, that's cool. Like ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But like. For a nigga like me who wasn't good with his money, who wasn't financially smart, it's tempting. It's like, I want to swipe it so I can get these cards. But I started building my self cards, I mean, my secure cards up. Now, whenever I don't want them, that's my money back. Mm-hmm. Now, my credit's good. I can swap it for a card with the same limit. Or I can call that company and say, hey, I want the real card. They'll give me a card with that limit and send me my deposit back because my credit's good enough. So my self card started with $25 in two years, but it said $1,600. So when I don't want it, they got to give me that back. Man. I pay it off every month in full. They got to give it all back. Like, I know. So like, shit. imagine if I keep it for four more years and it's 4500 I want to get a house. That's how we should I got 10000 right here on this card. I got 4500 on this card. I got 5000 on this card. It's all self-cards. So I go order three more cards that can replace them. Send me my check, nigga. I'm going to go get a house. <clears throat> it's different savings accounts. And the way I look at it, like, yeah. unless you say fuck it and don't pay the niggas back. It's the savings account.